with another video and today we're playing once again on our ARK survival series and last time we tamed a ton of creatures and I mean a lot we got two new terrain that was one I love it I love it it's it's already how many level more levels it's almost almost 70 more higher levels than the one we had and that was already good for the, other, the one we used to have and now we're just upping, I'm just upping the like weight in. Wait, there's stamina. Yeah, a thousand stamina. Nice. And the animation. But today we're gonna start filling these boxes over here. Because now we have the creatures that we need to fill all these. For the wood, we're gonna use the beaver. For the thatch, that's already full. For the fiber, we're gonna use the therizinosaurus. For the stone and the flint, we're gonna use the dodecarus because he can get stone, but he also gets some flint. For the hide, we're going to use the aloe, but the aloe, I think, already has all the hide we need, so I don't think that's going to be a big problem. Metal, we can take our Argentavis up to the mountain. And misc, that's basically... I already just put a bunch of stuff from the house and in my inventory in here. The cementic place I got when I was taming the beaver from his dam, and the silk pearls and the rare flowers. So I do like here, just the chitin, the oil, the crystal, the rare flowers, and all that. But today, we're going to be using all these farming dinos. And we're going to do this, but I'm going to be right back with some saddles on all these little, all these, well, I was just about to say little dinos, but then we just look at the Therizinosaurus to the right and the one down there, and it's like, no, they're not little. We're going to put the saddles on these, on these, on these, um, oh my god, I'm trying to say something. We're going to just put some saddles on and then we're going to take them out for farming, so I'll be right back with some saddles. Okay guys, I'm back, and I just crafted all the saddles that we need, the Dodecarus, the Castroid, and the Therizinosaurus. I only crafted one of each, because apparently these guys, well at least the beaver saddle is really expensive. We used almost 200 cementic base, well 140 or something like that. And then the Dodecarus is not so expensive, but they were all like together, they were like a lot. Why am I taking everything out of here? What am I doing? I have to remember to leave some... Yeah, why did you even start to take things out? I have to leave things in here for next time. I don't have to keep... That's what's kind of fun. Right? Yeah, but I still have a lot of metal left. Even if I had... I think I almost had 400 metal ingots. Almost. Or 300 something. From my, when I went to get some metal before last, last episode. Uh, I think that was episode when we... The Therese, you know, I was saving up for metal because I didn't know what the saddle cost. I didn't have learned it yet. I haven't learned it yet. Where's my therapy? So I didn't know how much metal it needed. So I just like went out and just took the Argentavis and just took as much metal as I could. And now we only have 176. These saddles are not cheap. But uh, luckily we're not gonna have to hopefully make them again. I'm just gonna make sure my inventory is mostly empty. I'm just gonna so I, then it's easy for the to carry us. They do have good weight. Now, what was in here? Fiber. I'm gonna farm that and shift the hide. Yeah. I like to keep it organized. That's why I was. I want to switch this out. Grab the flint. What do we have left? Oh no, only the sand. So I'm just gonna put away the blueprints. I don't, I don't think I have any blueprints. No, I don't. I actually, I actually don't have any blueprints in here. I'm gonna have to start putting blueprints. But now. What weight? What's weight? Oh, it's the saddles that weigh so much. Yeah. They're like 60 altogether. Now, yes, there it comes. I'm so excited. Oh my god. My favorite dinosaur. I haven't ridden this at all. I've just, like, looked at other people, like, showing it, and it's still absolute favorite. Let's put some meal damage. Speed. There we go. Oh, yes. What was it? Oh yeah, we need to wait for another level, I think. We got the Dodickers. Yes. Oh my god. What have we done to your inventory? <laughs> cool animation when it goes like that. And then we... Roll! <laughs> oh god, it's awesome! Just roll around. I still made the rolling it like sound. Don't know why. Yeah, we just take them in here. And then we just. Oh. I made some 
weird sounds. There we go. Now we're just gonna start filling these up. I'll be right back when we're farming. So I'll just gonna take all the stone out of him and just start to farm. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys, charge! Boom! Yeah, 215 stone! Yes! Can we get any flint? I'm not getting any flint. Still move? No. Uh, holy! It's a lot of stuff. We put a lot in his meal damage, so I can understand why. Let's put some more in weight. Uh, it's kind of cute. Can we still roll? No, we're in bark. Just drop a little more. So he has... Uh, we need to put a lot more in his weight. But I do like his roll. It's pretty cool. Wait, let's see how much damage... Mm. Come on. Oh, <laughs> holy... Oh my god. He does a lot of damage. He does way more than our Iron Gentamus. Okay, that means I, that, that basically is telling me that I need to put more meat in the Argentavis. I'm going to break back. Now we're going to use the beaver. I'm just going to farm probably a little more with this guy. But you're not, I'm not going to be let, let that be in the video because that would be interesting. And then I'm going to tell about the little series that we have started in the videos. And I'll be right back. Hey, hello guys, I'm back. And right now I'm just going to get more stone. There's no more stone in the base. But I just wanted to show that this guy is actually pretty good at swimming. He's a lot faster in the water. I'm not saying you should be taking him down to get the oil or anything like that. He's not that good at swimming. I'm just saying if you want to get away from something and you're too slow, you go in the water, you have a bigger chance of escape. But remember, um, he's the kind of creature that will run out of stamina and will drown since you're not going to put a, you're not going to putting any ox oxygen in his stamina. Oh. Away. I like to do. I think he's out of stamina. I'm actually gonna run back to the base and get Darcy Tavis because I don't wanna <laughs> drop on the stone. But I'll be right back when, and this time, we're going to be either putting the saddle on the beaver or being already on the beaver. Okay, guys, I'm back. And apparently, the, what I recorded didn't record. Don't know why. But I wanted to take the beaver out one more time just to show how much wood it is. I just actually failed it. I thought I was recording, and apparently I wasn't. But we're gonna take the Therizinosaurus out. Before we do that, I just want to see how much damage that we do. Nice! That's a good amount of damage. So much wood damage. <laughs> I like that little thing, like, with his little, with his long, long claws. Okay, now, the first attack. Oh my god, he's a beast of collecting fiber. about? Oh, he gets berries too, and I'm gonna avoid it. It's pretty good at getting wood, but the beaver is actually a lot better since the beaver. Uh oh. That's, oh, get rid of this. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Whoa. That was a Pego Mastax. He robs you. I don't like him. That's there. Gonna chomp on things. I'm just gonna fiber. I like his little thing like, with his claws. Wait. I'm just gonna stand right here. Yeah. He robbed me. Are you sure about it? Are you sure that you can get away with this? Are you sure you're gonna get away with this? Not getting away with this. I don't think they can rob me, but get back here. They got pickpocket. They got berries. Something like that. I don't want to get the wood. I want fiber. Looks like a pretty sure. Oh my god, get out of here. How are there so many? I haven't seen them here before. I guess they're like just starting to spawn in the new update. I don't need wood. I don't need wood. Not This guy's not for the wood. We get so much fiber with this guy. He's a beast of collecting fiber. I think we just stuck up the door. Look at this, we're almost 2,000. It's not even been 10 seconds yet. 2,000. 3,000. Oh 
why I got 4,000. Holy mackerel, this guy is amazing. Oh, hopefully you guys can see why I love this guy. 7,000! I make damage by collecting fiber. Oh my god. 10,000 fiber! In one run! This guy is madness! I just noticed how cool colors he is. He's not good at swimming, but that's understandable since he's basically a herbivore rex and herbivores are also horrible at swimming. Also, I, the one thing I've been wondering about is why some of my animals have no thing, like oh, if you look at all my animals, but then we go to like the Diplodocus since it's owner. I don't know if that has something to do with it when you're there, you're there when it gets tamed, like then it says owner because you were there when it was tamed, but like some of it, I don't know why it does that. Because uh, maybe it's because of passive tame, but that wouldn't make sense since the carnal also has that, and that's not a passive tame. Like I was there, I was there when the Pulicus was tamed, but I was, was also there when the Rex was tamed and the Bronto. He should be able to fit through here. Yeah, and uh, Rex does too. So it, he's basically just like exactly like a Rex. So anything a Rex should be able to do, he should be. Able to do. Whoa! Whoa! That's a lot of fiber. Our weight went up because of that. It's, it's weird to think the fiber is, way, is weighing down. Well, not really, but you know, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. How much fiber? Eight thousand, and it doesn't fit anymore. It doesn't fit for more, more fiber. Oh, weird. We're gonna. I'm also gonna just like all, all the extra materials that don't fit. I'm just gonna start having to put it in here. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Seriously, what am I doing? But I'll be right back, and we're gonna showcase the. I'm just gonna quickly show what the, how much the beaver collects, and I'll be back, and we're going to go up to the mountain with the Argent Hips. Hello, guys! It's Black Venom back, and, um, well, I just recorded a bunch of little clips for the video that I would have been edited, and then, while well, getting good at cutting them to little parts, like, just make sure that you don't have to see the boring parts. But I noticed that for some reason I had, I think I moved the PlayStation microphone a little too much. So now um, I would have, I'm gonna have to do everything over again. Well, not, not all again. I'm just gonna show you guys what I did, and you guys missed a lot. You missed me farming with the Dodicus. You missed me farming, or I think at least I don't remember. Well, at least with like I went to when I went to the mountain. Because, uh, yeah, it, microphone a little weird, could barely hear me, so I'm just trying to, I'm gonna just gonna, one more time, so it's a little more enjoyable, and this, it, this is actually pretty good, because now I'm gonna have time to do something that I was talking about, and that is, that it was pretty difficult to take the Archer Davis. I only got to take down one metalnoid, and then my inventory was so full that I, I would have take, I, I would never have gotten home. So, the thing I wanted to tell you guys that we're going to be doing in the next episode, and a little in this episode, is that we are going to tame a Quetzal, a Quetzal Quadalus, the number one, the best, favorite farming dino in the whole game because you can take him anywhere. Mega weight. He is awesome. Now we're going to take the Argentines here. I'm just going to unload the metal and then we'll go right on to the final destroy. I don't think I'm gonna skip this part because, well, I'm not just gonna tell you about like, what you missed when uh, when the recorder froze up. So we're probably just gonna, I'm gonna probably look for Scorpion. It's gonna be a, like a quick tame. You're not gonna see basically anything. I think I'm just gonna like leave the part where I actually take him down. I hate when this happens when you can't get to the box that you're trying to get to. Oh my god! Yes, <laughs> there we go. The metal, I'm not gonna do that now. Okay, I don't know why I'm hovering over the Argentavis, but I am. Now it's better. Now I'll be right back when I find a high level of scorpion, which should be the easiest and fastest thing that I have ever done before because. Yeah, it doesn't take a long time, sister, just about everywhere. But I think I'm actually going to also show where the Quetz is, if I can find it, because it's very close to the ground. It's been flying around here somewhere. It's even been, uh, like, flying against the wall would be a lot easier if it gets stuck, because then it would be so easy. We could even maybe even jump off 
and just shoot it from the ground, which will make it go a lot faster. So I'll be right back when I find either a Quetz or a high-level Scorpion.